And then I would like to welcome the last pitch of today, uh, Team Cardio with from Belgium. Are you already here? Nope. Then we are again ahead of schedule. They should be here in a few minutes, so we'll be back. All right, they have arrived in the meantime, so I'd like to welcome Team Cardio with from Belgium. Good luck. Thank you. Can we start? Or? So, hello everybody. We are Kinga and Anke from Kai Leuven's uh, Team Cardio bit. Um, and we would like to tell you about how we would like to introduce our biosensor to the market. So, um, first of all, as you know, our population is growing, as well as the group of elderly people. Um, it is even estimated that in Belgium, the group of people above 65 years old will grow from 90% to 26%. Um, and even more, four out of five heart patients are over 65 years old. Um, it is even estimated that by 2060, the amount of people in elderly houses will be over 300,000 people. Um, and this would, of course, place a high burden on the nurses that would have to supervise up to 30 people, which um, causes unspecific uh, care or unpersonalized care, because they have so many people to take care of. And um, it's also true that um, the first symptoms of heart failure are very unspecific, like fatigue and weakness. And they are also commonly interpreted to uh, an older age. Um, and even furthermore, um, the costs of uh, testing for heart failure are quite high. Um, and this is where our biosensor would come into the picture. They would um, reduce the, the workload of the nurses. Uh, it would give an early diagnosis for heart failure and the cost would be lower. So how would we like to do this? Um, so we would not only um, show, we would not only provide raw test results, but we would like to uh, also give nutritional advice and physical activity advice and also treatment advice um, included with the diagnosis. Uh, this all to ensure uh, the higher quality of the life of the elderly people as well as a longer life expectancy. So how would we introduce this? Um, so, first of all, the nurses in the elderly homes would uh, collect the blood samples from the elderly patients uh, and this would only take a few moments, so it would not place a higher burden on, on their time, um, on their workload. And then this blood would be tested by our device. Um, next, a uh, protected app um, would deliver directly the information to a GP, which uh, would make it easy and fast and less cost less price um, to um, introduce the diagnosis and uh, the treatment. And now if we look at our competitors, uh, then we see that when we look at the sample volume, uh, our device uses much uh, less volume than most other competitors. Uh, it also gives quick results and uh, of, while assuring a slow limit of detection and also it is uh, cost efficient. Uh, our platform 
is not only, well, we can also look at other advantages. Uh, the platform enables testing from dried blood spots. It is also versatile, enabling testing for also for uh, DNA fragments or microvesicles, which are currently under investigation as possible cardiac biomarkers. Uh, and we can also perform multiplex testing. But as mentioned, we don't only want to offer the testing device, but uh, the whole service, which would be cost efficient, which would offer quick and easy access to, to information, coupled with a state-of-the-art treatment plan. If we look at the timeline, for now we have our device. We would plan to develop in two uh, ways, technology-wise and service-wise. Uh, the first step would be in nursing homes, as mentioned, where uh, we would place our device in a central lab to perform certification and validation. Uh, we would cooperate to, with the nursing homes to, to receive the, the blood spots uh, with which we could collect our data and perform the, the validation. Uh, the next step in the development of, of the device would be um, further miniaturization. Uh, and further on, uh, developing of a cartridge to ensure uh, handheld and ease, handheld device and uh, ease of use. When it comes to the service, we would first start with uh, developing a decision tree with key opinion leaders and medical experts in the field, uh, which would take into account uh, the tests and the possible treatments. Um, which would be, then be de delivered to the general practitioner to adapt if necessary. The next step would be to incorporate also other specialists such as nutritionists or physiotherapists uh, and later on to uh, incorporate other biomarkers in such a decision tree. Uh, finally, we would obtain a handheld phone case device uh, which would enable us to uh, enter a larger market we would start with Belgium and further expand to the European Union. Thank you for your attention. Any questions? So the question is how much money uh, would we need to get in the market? Uh, for now, with the help of our sponsors and with the cooperation, um, I don't know. one million, I think around one million euros to, to enter the market to perform the, well, the development of the device and uh, the system. Uh, as mentioned somewhere uh, here, it would if we would already use the multiplex test, it would be around 15 euros. It's because we are, for now, we are based in Belgium. We, have, we are cooperating with the university, with the sponsors that are already there, uh, with the university hospital. So it would be easier to start our implementation uh, well, there. Uh, I think that's the logical place to start. Yeah, and it's also true that in Belgium there's like a, a big grey population, as they say, so there are a lot of old people in Belgium, um, so our target group will also be quite big in Belgium, yeah. So, uh, would we also go only go for nursing homes? Uh, no, our plan is to, to later expand with our uh, handheld device. We could expand to other patient groups such as patients living at home which are for example visited by, by nurses uh, or just go to the general practitioners. Uh, then they could also uh, make use of our device which would be handheld and portable. So it would not only be uh, people living in organized facilities.
questions? <laughs> Thank you very much.